Mise au point by Francois Prunier. Uh, so this is a paperback edition here. Obviously, I, I got it from a library somewhere, but believe me, they've they've canceled it. They were throwing it away. Hopefully, there's some marking of that somewhere so that you don't think I'm stealing it. Well, anyway, Stonington Library and Information Service. No idea where that is. I bought this from uh, the Alliance Française, which is an organization that tries to spread French culture or whatever. Obviously, I bought it used. Um, <laughs> so I suppose the confession is I've read some of it and then I stopped. It is in French. I don't think that it's been translated. I, after starting it, I, um, it, it's, there, there are some things that, the, that didn't quite ring true. And I, I looked up, first of all, the story is about a fighter, a woman fighter, who, by the way, is black and, uh, and is American and grew up poor. Um, and it's written by a French white dude who, I don't know, maybe he grew up poor. I have no idea. Um, and I didn't realize that when I first started reading it, but I thought, oh, this sounds, I don't know, there are some things that just didn't quite sound right. And, I, and so I looked up the guy. I mean, Francois Prunier does not seem, that name does not seem like, uh, you know, an author who has a lot of, um, you know, personal sort of, a personal relationship with what it's like to be a young black girl. Um, and it starts out in high school in the United States. And sure enough, I mean, he's a French guy and I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll just give you one example that, that starts off very, very early is she, she sees someone putting a coin in a vending machine and then the coin uh, drops and rolls. And then she, by the way, she's telling this young black American woman is telling this young know, black American girl, well, she's a woman now, but she's talking about when she was a girl in high school and she stopped the coin with her foot. So she sees this other girl put a coin in a vending machine and then the coin drops and then rolls and then she stops the coin with her foot. Well, this could happen anywhere, but any American would know that the next part of it is a little funny. Um, she says something about the other girl thought that she had stopped, that she was, that she put her foot on the dollar to stop the dollar from rolling away. Um, that's, the U.S. isn't, there, there are very few high school kids putting a dollar coin into a vending machine because dollar coins are really rare in the United States. It's just not a thing that you, that you do, especially as she's talking about her past. And and if you were going to mention that it was a dollar coin, you'd actually say, for some reason, I was using, you know, some dollar coin that my grandpa gave me or something like that. You know, I mean, it's not that they're old uh, dollar coins. A young person could use it just as much as an older person, but it, they're just really rare. And, I, and even when I read it, I thought that's one of the things that made me think, wait, what? A dollar? Why? Wait, why was she a dollar coin? That's that's unusual. It should have been a quarter or a dime or something like that. And that's one of the few little things. There were a couple little things, and I said, "Wait, let me. What's going on here?" And then I looked it up. And okay, should should little things like that stop me from reading a book? No. Um, but it, it made me sort of spiral into this. What other kinds of things? I mean, he's writing this in first person, and just how wrong? How many little things are is this person going to get wrong? I stopped reading it. I don't know. I should give it another try. Maybe it's a great book. And that sounds like a really petty thing. And it's not like I made the decision saying, oh, now I'm going to stop reading this book because of this. But it just, uh, I wasn't, I almost became like I was looking for things like that. I was like looking for what's he going to get wrong? Oh, he's going to mention race. What's he going to get wrong about race in America? You know, or, you know, what's what's going to get wrong about the, the experience of, um, you know, I, 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 anything. And so I found myself reading it with a, highly critical eye, almost a malicious eye, and that's not good for anyone. So I stopped reading it. Hopefully I'll pick it up again another time. Anyway, if you read French, Mise au Point, you can look out for it. Maybe I've got the wrong idea, um, and you can let me know. Thanks.